No, the, the best one I've ever had. Uh, it was an incredibly romantic uh, evening. I went out and bought a, uh, a Hungry Man uh, TV dinner and uh, sat on my couch um, in the darkness and I was uh, just weeping over my Hungry Man dinner and uh, it, was, it was lovely and uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'd pick her up um, with a box of chocolates, maybe even give some flowers to her at work, take her out for a nice meal, a uh, nice bottle of red probably, unless there's a game the next day of course, or even two days from then. Keep it simple, but you know, I think the simple gestures are you know, sometimes more important than the stuff that's over the top. If I were planning an ideal Valentine's Day date, and I am planning an ideal Valentine's Day date, uh, it's for my girlfriend to come up to Chicago from school. Um, Hopefully I've been able to explore a little bit so I'll be able to show around, have a nice dinner, and just have her in the city. I would have said a couple years ago maybe like just a nice like romantic dinner with my wife, but I've got a little daughter, little daughter now, she's 19 months, and so maybe just like a nice dinner at home with my two girls. Scale one to ten, um, I can turn it on. I mean I can I can get to ten. Uh, I say you know, throughout the whole year, I'd average around a, a seven. I mean, last year I made dinner, well, we made dinner together. She'll probably take all the credit, but I consider myself sort of. Sometimes I'd like to take a, a, a woman, uh, someone that could withstand my presence for uh, an extended period of time, maybe a couple hours, maybe go to Meeple Times uh, or Hometown Buffet, Golden Corral, someplace nice. Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day.